Baldwin playing, Spartans playing some good defense. Three point up, three point good. Baldwin hit a couple of early threes here. Some clutch ones. Hearing that we uh, had some problem with audio potentially. Hoping that those are all good now. Spartans get the finish there. Take the lead right back with 13 to go. Talk to him, not me. Baldwin looking to take back the lead here early in the first half. Apologies to the folks who are tuned in with these technical difficulties. Not quite sure what's going on, but I'm going to keep on calling it as if you can hear me. Out of bounds there, heading back the other way. That's Cal Smith with the toe on the line. Are we all good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Did we lose audio? Yes. Okay. Do we know why? <laughs> no. Ooh, missed three there by Crybeck. Did we have audio in the beginning? Unknown. Great. <laughs> Classic unplug, plug it back in, and it started working, so. Interesting. Well, we're back, we're here, so Spartan live stream. That's gonna be a foul on Somerset. Curious to see if it's a shooting foul, it will be. Second foul on Gebheim already. Not something the Spartans wanna see this early in this one. First one, no good. That's Cal Smith at the line. Smith, a senior, averaging 11 points per game. Shooting 81% from the charity stripe, so a rare miss for Mr. Smith. That one doesn't go either, so back-to-back -back misses by Cal Smith. Lesha flies down the court. Lesha thought about the three-point, thinks better of it. Aiden Grover back in on this one. Back to Donnelly, trying to dive, drive. Kellen Donnelly in on this one as well, the freshman. So both Donnelly's on the floor for Somerset. Kane will take the three all around and good. Uh, big triple there by the junior Kane Donnelly. He's up to five points and the Spartans are up to 10 with under 12 to go in the first half. Update down in Prescott. Prescott up 13-3 in that one early on, about 10 minutes left. And that one is against Osceola. Yep. That could be an interesting matchup for sure. Early lead by Prescott. Spartans playing way out on defense here. Three point up. No good, offensive board, nice oh. put back there. Great work by Maddox Mahoney, another senior, as he gets two points. Kellen Donnelly for three. It's hey. good! The freshman hits from beyond the arc. Had a big game last night too. Freshman getting it done in big minutes here in the playoffs. And a foul as well. Donnelly getting a foul. Kane Donnelly that is after the basket was made, his first. Is it after his celebration? That I'm not sure. Weird, we just kind of an off ball foul. Spartans playing in a 2-3 zone here now with the two Donnellys on top of the zone. The zone appears to be frustrating Baldwin at, on this one as the Spartans get the turnover. Five point lead looking to add on to it here. Lesha, the hero last night, passes to Grover. Over to Cry, or Sawyer Fox, excuse me. That's an errant pass by Fox there. Surprised that Fox is seeing some action as he did not play in the game at no. all last night. Looking to give some guys some time potentially to rest as coming off of back-to-back -back games. Right. Fox definitely an athlete though. Yes, can play some good defense for sure. <laughs> Under 10 and a half to go in the first half. Spartans holding on to that five point lead. Good defense by Kellen Donnelly there. On Clawson. Dish back out. Long two is up, it's gonna be short. Spartans get the rebound. Donnelly in the right place. Grover over to Lesha. Back to Fox. 
Three point for Lesha, that one's long. Nobody there to get the rebound. It goes to the Blackhawks. Clawson will slow it down here. Not really Dylan's game, but he will shoot the occasional one. Yeah. Usually more of the driver. Long, or that's two there. Nice looking shot, doesn't <laughs> quite go as the two Spartans battle for the rebound. That's the tag team effort there. <laughs> yeah. They each get a half a rebound. Sure, why not? Grover to Lesha. Spartans offense stalling on the last couple of possessions, looking to get something positive going here. They'll continue to swing it around. Constant movement with the ball and without the ball. Patiently waiting for something to open up here, but also content to run some clock as well, which right. we saw quite a bit of yesterday at times. But to Baldwin's credit, they're playing good on-ball defense and good off-ball defense for that matter. Drive, Donnelly double teamed, up, glass no good. Fighting for that rebound, who tipped it? It'll be Spartan ball. Two Spartan starters coming back in this one, seniors Jamison Wink and Caden Krybeck. And Donnelly and Fox will check out. Krybeck will look to inbound it here. Throws it into Lesha. Around the corner he goes, Krybeck trying to find an open three look, cannot find it. Good defense by Cal Smith on Krybeck here early on. Nice cut, Lesha, and it's good. Nice. Great dish by Wink as well. Patient offense leads to results. Yep, seven point lead here for Somerset in the early going. We're now past the halfway point in this first half. And that's a travel. That's gonna be on Brody Paul, another senior for the Blackhawks. Paul has only appeared in Oh, excuse me, I was looking at the wrong player, I think. Oh, Brody Paul, 1.4 points per game, so not a main scoring threat, but certainly has the height for Baldwin. Wink trying to find an outlet, he does. Cryback with it. Under eight to go in the first half. Wink to Lesha. Lesha trying to survey the court, find an opening somewhere. With both Wink and Grover on the floor, it'll be interesting to see how the Spartan offense functions. Right. As those are two players that Baldwin's willing to give space, but I mean, you can give them space. Yeah, you just gotta keep them honest, take a shot or two, and. And that's him, what Wink has done you. at times yep. here. He has seven three point attempts, he's right. hit three of them. Lesha trying to draw the charge, cannot get it. Dish back out, three point is up. No good, and Grover is there. Lesha, something in his eye, he got poked in the eye potentially. And Coach Wink is going to call his mandatory first half timeout yep. here. Let's get Lesha some time to recoup after that one. Fun tonight. We have two separate cheer squads in attendance yeah. as we have our very own Somerset Spartan cheer squad fresh off of their uh, state championship in the game day routine. And we also have the Baldwin Woodville Blackhawks cheer squad here too. Yeah, we saw their... Uh their game day performance at halftime yesterday. That yeah. was awesome. And they have done some fantastic, they've done a fantastic job of entertaining the student section during timeouts, especially when we had all those timeouts down the stretch oh yesterday. My gosh. The cheer team was working overtime as well. And they did a great job. And again, I, I applaud them so much. They, their season is done. Their competitive season is done, but they're still here showing up on a Saturday night to uh, get the student section pumped. And also a congratulations to the Baldwin Woodville girls basketball team. They are heading to state. Their 60 to 43 win over Elk Mound this afternoon. It's fantastic. That's awesome. We were talking about this and I don't, there's no way for us to confirm this, but uh, Josh Wells, one of our, uh, one of our coworkers said that he believes it is the first middle border girls team to go to state oh. for basketball. So if that is true, even more of, it, of an incredible accomplishment. Absolutely. Um, for Baldwin Woodville, so we want to give a well-deserved shout out to them. They ended the Spartan season in dominant fashion for the girls team. 
and the Spartan boys will look to return the favor here to the boys team. Donnelly with it. Kane Donnelly, that is. Both Donnelly still on the floor. Wink to Grover, back to Kellen Donnelly. They both have the same first initial, too. So you yeah, it's, <laughs> you got to be really certain. At least they look very different, at least at this, this point in their high school careers. Sure. So Kellen, a freshman. Kane, a junior. Student section of Baldwin Woodville getting into it, applauding their team for playing some good defense here. They really have throughout the entire yes. uh, first half. I mean, the Spartans averaging 66 points per game on the season. Baldwin definitely a more methodical team as Tur Wink loses it on that one, heading back the other way. Slows it down, hesitation up and in. Nice finish there. Evan Clausen gets the bucket to go. Making this a five point game. Clausen, the leading scorer for Baldwin Woodville with 11.9. All stats according to wissports.net. Want to give them a shout out Absolutely. of appreciation. Could not do our jobs nearly as effectively without them. Wink, oh my goodness. Grover has an opening in the lane. He goes up, no good. And that'll be off of Jamison there, heading back the other way. So the Spartan offense stalling out. And Lesha comes back in for Grover. Gebheim checking in as well. So it looks like it'll be the Spartan starters back on the floor here, potentially to close out the first half. Obviously the guys are gassed a little bit playing a double overtime game For sure. last night, but you need your best players on the floor when it really counts. So I'm sure we'll be seeing this five on the floor for a majority of the second half. Probably for both squads, honestly. Mm -hmm. As the Spartan bench does not run all that deep, at least in terms of minutes. Just say, yeah. Despite the look of it. with Yeah, <laughs> with the full bench, they're there for support. Smith long two, fade away, will be short. Gebheim fights for the rebound and gets it. Good fight there by Wink to start that, getting the hand up there in front of two Baldwin defenders. Excellent call. Lesha looking to get something going offensively. Wink almost loses it, quick pass. Donnelly fighting for an inch of separation here. Oh, and Gebheim loses it off the dribble. Gebheim will look to pick the pocket. Oh, he gets almost tripped up there. And everyone gets back. Baldwin will continue with their slow, methodical offense as they average 49 points per oh. game. Oh, wow, <laughs> clutch three there. Clausen is like, what are you talking, or Borchart, I believe, or no, that was Clausen. Yep. Says, slow and methodical, what do you mean? <laughs> How about this? Two point ball game. Under four and a half to go in the first half. Donnelly into Gebheim, he's able to secure it. Shot fake, Powers goes up, he'll go to the line for two. That'll be only the third foul for Baldwin. Both teams with only three. But that is Mahoney's second. So both Gebheim and Mahoney with two fouls. Something to watch for sure. First one's gonna be no good for Gebheim. Second one, back iron, no good as well. Tough to see for Somerset, missing both free throws there. Still holding on to a two point lead with just about four to play in the first half. Yeah, only six fouls total and only one timeout. It's a quick move in half so far. We're only 20 minutes into this game of actual time. That's right. Up to Donnelly, can he finish? Too strong off the glass. Tough look for Donnelly there. Mahoney with the rebound. Yep, Mahoney, a key component to this team. I just gotta say, Maddox Mahoney, that is a good name. That is a good <laughs> name. He fills up the stat sheet with six points and 5.1 rebounds per game. That'll be a long three and it's good again. Wow. And Baldwin takes the lead, 16-15. Clausen, Clausen can play. Wow. Holy moly. He's got 11 points here early in this one. That's right around his season average. He's hit a couple of big three-pointers in this first half, keeping the Blackhawks in it very much. Got a shot about 32% from behind the arc. Saw a little bit of frustration from Jamison Wink there on the offensive end. As the Spartans have looked 
I don't know if lost is the right word, but maybe stagnant at times on offense. Well, we mentioned yesterday, this is not their typical way they like to play offense. They're a quick transition team that likes to get in there, get quick, get some points, and get back on defense. But yeah. uh, they've had to slow down and be methodical these last two playoff games. Let's see here. They're going to call a foul. That'll be on number 12, Dane Vienendahl. Fourth foul. Again, the only players that have to be careful here going down the stretch in the first half are Mahoney and Gebheim, as they both have two fouls. They're both on the floor, and they really don't want to pick up their no. third going into halftime. As that would change kind of the circumstances of the second half for both teams, depending on who would get that foul. Gebheim to Wink, back to Gebheim. Tough shot. Wow, somehow find the angle there and Gabheim goes up strong. Yeah, different there from the possession earlier. He went up there quick. He didn't take that extra bounce and uh, wait a little bit and he got trapped last time, but this time got the points. Yep, paid off for him to go up quick. One point lead for Somerset, 17-16, 2 10 to go in the first half. Wink trying to close out the drive and that will be a travel. Cal Smith travel there as the Spartans will look to add on to their lead. Wallen, what a packed gym we have here tonight. Oh this, is a, this is a great sight, yep. gotta love it. This is March basketball right here. Yeah. A packed student section for both teams. A lot of energy. Two cheer teams. See the, the Baldwin Woodville fans were here at about 5.30 outside <laughs> the door waiting to get in here. Wow. Gebheim again going up strong. He has nine points for Somerset in the first half. And the Spartans have a three point lead. Spartan bench getting up, showing support. Spartans looking to close out the first half on a little bit of a run here. Baldwin looking for an opening. Clawson looking to find an opening for himself as he has been the main scoring threat, scoring 11 of Baldwin's 16. Two bank, no good, tough look there. Can't get it to go. Spartans have found their momentum a little bit here as the runner by Krybeck is no good. Tries to draw the foul and he gets it. The Blackhawks do not like it. As the boos fill the gym, it'll be Cryback to shoot. First one's good. Cryback is the best free throw shooter at about 83%. It's a good number for a high school kid. Sure is. Similar number for um, Cal Smith as well. Anytime you see that 80% mark yes. for a high school basketball player. Very respectable number as Cryback misses the second one there. 2016. Sorry for jinxing him on that one, of yeah. course, right? Under a minute to go in this exciting first half. A low scoring affair, at least for the Spartans, at least what they're used to. Clausen drives, and that will be a foul on Somerset. A shooting foul, that is, that will send Clausen to the line to shoot two. He'll look to add on to his game high 11 points. Luscious first foul. Again, it looks like both teams will end up being okay going into halftime with their big men yep. staying at two fouls. Clausen, first one, good. Clausen, free throw percentage at 65%. As the second one's up and good. Make it 2018 with 42 seconds to go. Baldwin still has not used their uh, use it or lose it timeout. We may see that if they get another possession here. Lesha will wait. So it looks like the Spartans will try to get the last possession on this one. See how long they let it tick down. I'm guessing about 10 seconds. Instead we'll start with about 15. Oh, 
Oh, do we have an offensive foul on Somerset? Five second foul call, excuse me. Mm. Something we don't see a whole lot of, so someone camping in the paint there a little bit for Somerset. And there's the timeout by Baldwin. There's your timeout, so eight seconds to go. Baldwin will take their use it or lose it timeout here wisely. Draw up a play, see if they can potentially tie it up here or even take the lead going into halftime. So it's halftime down in Prescott. They are up seven points over Osceola, 26-19. There you go. Um, I do believe that Prescott was successful against Osceola during the regular season as well. I'm gonna look that up here as we're talking. But uh, Prescott, both teams only lost two conference games as both teams were 12 and two in the middle border conference. And so Prescott did lose to Osceola on February 19th by 10 points, um, but they split the regular season series as uh, Prescott beat Osceola on January 16th. But as we always say, anything can happen in the playoffs. The slate is completely clean. Absolutely. All teams are kind of at zero, zero, as that's a deep three there that can't go. And it'll be 2018 going into halftime here. We expected a close one and we have it so far as the two teams going into the locker room, figure some things out, make some adjustments and uh, the Spartans will look to get some more consistency on offense as yep. 20 points for them seems very low. A little abnormal for sure. Yep, all right, well, we're gonna take a quick break here in the live stream lounge. Once again, folks, we thank you so much for tuning into the Spartan live stream. We will be right back before halftime.
All right, we're ready to rock and roll here for the second half of this regional final contest. If you're just joining us or joining us late, these Somerset Spartans currently on top by a score of 20 to 18. Leading scorers so far in this one came in Gebheim with nine points, but also two fouls, something to watch for for sure in the early going here. And the most impressive player so far in this one, Evan Claussen. Yes. Number two for Baldwin with 13 of their 18 points so far. Yeah, nice clean competitive match in the first half there. Yes. I and say that. Would be <laughs> I a say foul that. on Gebheim as we kind of jinxed him. As there. a body goes flying, right? Yep. That'll be Gebheim's third foul. Not the way you want to start the half here. Nope. And that will send Cal Smith to the line to shoot two. Smith, an 81% free throw shooter. First one is good. He missed his first two on the night, so kind of getting back in line with his season average with that make right there. He'll look to tie it up with this next shot. And we're seeing 2020 here as we start the second half. Donnelly with it. Over to Lesha. Swinging around to Donnelly. Out to Wink. Wink thought about the long two. Instead, it'll be the Spartans whirling it all around. Wink will take the two. It's up. Oh, it's no good. Not a bad look for Wink. But he can't quite get it to go. So I was talking about in the first half there. You got to keep them honest for your, not your typical shooters, but uh, if you have an open shot like that, take it. Wink plays some good defense, so having him on the floor is important, but like you said, you can't be an absolute zero factor in the offensive game. Still 20-20 here as the first minute of the second half ticks down. Wow, Wink gets a tough one there for Wink as he gets taken advantage of by Smith. And that's gonna be a... Crossing of the arms, yep. uh, is that a, a flagrant something? Uh, it might be a flagrant foul there. Uh, Crybeck and a Baldwin player got tied up there and a hand yep. went up to a face. Uh, Spartans just need to be smart and control their emotions in this very important game. Mm -hmm. Saw some chippiness at time from Somerset in the second half. And you can't let that take advantage of the game. Nope. We've seen this happen in previous seasons. And this is one time where I'm not going to be impartial. It's gosh darn frustrating. Mm -hmm. As that is controllable. You can control your mindset. You can control your behavior. You can control your attitude. And Coach Wink, I hope, is livid after <laughs> that one. Because yes. that can't happen if you're a Somerset Spartan in a very one of the most important basketball games in their program history. 24-20 now. 16-55. Baldwin retains possession here after the free throws. Up four-point lead. Whereas the Spartans had a two point lead going into halftime. Baldwin will be patient now, as they were in the first half as well. Claussen with it, pushes back out. Ooh, got right past Wink there and a nice finish, counted on the foul. Wink does not know how to guard Cal Smith right now. Well, Cal Smith getting it done all over the place on this court. As he was able to breeze right past Jamison Wink on that offensive set. And will look to convert on the old fashioned three point play. It'll be Grover checking in on this one. There's a question of whether or not that was before the shot or if. All right, basket counts, and now here's the free throw. 26 20 now. Gabheim checking out as he has four fouls now. So that was not on Wink, that was on Gebheim, who now has four fouls. Not a good look for Somerset. As I don't think, the last minute and a half has gone about as poorly as it could have for the Spartans here in this second half. As Smith converts on the old fashioned three point play. So I'm guessing Gebheim was coming out help side there after right. Wink got blown by and had to draw the foul there. Guess didn't have to, but did. Now the Spartans will be without Cayman Gebheim, their leading scorer in this one so far. For probably for a while. A good chunk of this second half. Lesha. 
Not able to get it to go. Ball on the floor. Oh. Donnelly's able to pick it up and put it right, right back in. Spartans needed that one and got it as they're down by five now. That was good ball movement there. Lesha did have a good look, but Donnelly found something on the ground, made Donnelly it happen. got lucky and he <laughs> took advantage of it. Spartan student section getting into it. Three is up for Clawson and good. Wow. Woo. He is having a game so far, folks. My as goodness. he is up to 18 points. He averages 11.9 on the season. His season high, 20. So he's probably gonna eclipse that here tonight. Wow. Nice pass into Kryback. Count that one in the foul. And that'll be the third foul on Maddox Mahoney. So that could have some implications here. Mahoney is very vocally upset. Coaching staff for Baldwin telling him to calm down. You can read their lips from here. As they need Mahoney in this one. Kryback gets it to go. Making it a five point lead for Baldwin. Yep, intensity is going up in this gym all across the board. Still got 15 minutes left. Yeah, we had a long second <laughs> half to go still. And heartbeats are elevated. Tipped out of bounds, heading back to Baldwin. It'll be Mahoney checking out. Jeremy Jacobson checking in for Mahoney. As Baldwin will look to add on to their lead here. Clawson would be the one who to do it. 18 of Baldwin's 30 points, as that's another foul on Somerset. Averaging over a foul per minute so far in this one, in the second half. Second foul for Donnelly. Clawson trying to find an opening. Ooh, miscommunication there, and that one will be, wow, saved. Impressive work there by Cal Smith. And that will be a full timeout for Baldwin as Coach Benoit did not like what he was seeing. Baldwin lucky to maintain possession on that uh, offensive set. As we take a break here, we want to give a, a shout out to our camera operator this evening, Izzy Osborne, student at Somerset High School. She has been a, came, a consistent help throughout yes. this season. We could not do what we do without her, and uh, we are very thankful. Captured that moment last night, the, <laughs> the buzzer beater perfectly. perfectly. Especially with lots of movement on that court to find that shot. Pretty impressive for a sophomore. Yep. Who, and she'll be the first to admit it, doesn't know a whole lot about basketball. No. <laughs> she likes going to games. Yep. She likes helping out. Uh, and we are forever grateful to her for helping us out throughout this season. Also forever grateful to the 525 viewers we have <laughs> right now. We were so excited to break the 400 record in overtime last night. Yep. But uh, yeah, over 500 people here. That's fantastic. That's got to be a record for the live stream. Uh, yeah, for, for sports, for absolutely. For any sporting yep. event, that is, that is our record for football, basketball, volleyball. Yep. All of it. So thank you, folks, for helping us set that record. Make sure you subscribe. We're getting <laughs> close to 2,000 subscribers on the channel. We used to get excited when we had 20 people That's watching. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But they've tuned into a good one here. As this has been a close one throughout. Baldwin has got to a little bit more of a lead. In and out, deflected all around, Baldwin maintains. Good effort there by the Blackhawks to maintain possession on that one. And they'll wait to set it up here. And this will be the interesting thing to... <laughs> Long two. Shot there. Offensive board, nobody boxes out, and it'll be a foul. And It'll be Wink's first foul. As I was say, the interesting thing here is I'm assuming Baldwin's going to want to play slower here as they have through the entire game, but Somerset's going to want to go a little bit faster, yeah. but with the good Baldwin defense, it's going to be tough. Excellent call there, Wallen, as Baldwin's getting close to their season average already. 
And they're content with playing slow, and that'll be another foul on Wink, as Somerset's already to six fouls. Next one will put Baldwin in bonus. Kelly. And honestly, I mean, you, you can't really even say that the refs are calling it one-sided because Somerset has earned every single yep. one of these fouls so Those far. Those are fouls. Kellen Donnelly checking in the game for Wink. Donnelly with that big three-pointer early in the first half. Had a couple of big oh threes my gosh. yesterday, too. How did that happen? Back out. Some acrobatic passing <laughs> continuing. Long two is up oh and good. Oh, my gosh. All of that ends with two <laughs> points from number 20, Ryan Vienendahl. Looking like the Harlem Globetrotters putting <laughs> on a show out Honestly. there. Honestly. <laughs> that was a fun offensive set oh. to watch. <laughs> Kane Donnelly will drive. Dishes in to Krybeck. He loses it. Heading back the other way for Baldwin. As they're looking to add on to a seven-point lead here in this second half. The Spartan offense stagnant in this second half, only scoring five points to the 14 of Baldwin Woodville. So I guess Baldwin going on an unofficial 14 to five run. Big rebound there by the freshman. Not who you would expect to be pulling down those boards, but the Spartans will take it. Effective Donnelly to Donnelly. Lesha has a bit of an opening in the lane. Gets the bucket to go, counted in the foul. They get a five point lead for Baldwin. Lesha will look to make it four. This one's up and good. Lesha converting on the old fashioned three point play. He only has five points in this one so far. Oh. Yeah, Lesha hitting his thousandth point last night. And that will be a foul on Grover. That'll send Clausen to the line. And send Baldwin to the bonus. For the last 13 minutes in this one. Certainly not how they drew this one up if you're the Spartans. Curious how they will adjust defensively to accommodate this. Will be a one and one. First one no good, front iron. Clausen not the best free throw shooter at 65%. Donnelly, Iso, and it will be a foul on Baldwin. That's the third foul for uh, Borchardt. Borchardt, who is normally a scoring threat for Baldwin, but he has zero points so far mm -hmm. in this one. He averages 9.9 .9 points per game. And shoots 33% from behind the arc. Yeah. Uh, front, yeah, behind the arc. Ooh, when Kryback loses that one, it will be deflected heading back to Somerset. A bit of luck there for the Spartans. As Krybeck just lost a handle on that one. Good, good handsy defense. Yeah, by Ryan Vienendahl. More good handsy defense there. Boy, this, this Baldwin team for not having a winning record on the season uh, is very impressive. It, it really goes to show once you have the playoffs, anything can happen. Huh. As Lesha gets called with a foul on that one. Certainly some Spartan fans that do not agree with that one. It will be Lesha's second, and it will send Borchardt to the line. He shoots 54.5% from the charity stripe. Officials talking it over. One and one. First one is up, and the first one is good. They get a five point lead once again for the Blackhawks and make that the first point for Borchard. Prescott Cardinals all over the Osceola Chieftains, 44-28, seven minutes left in that one. Wow, the Cardinals came to play. Up and in for Donnelly. The Spartans are gonna need Kane Donnelly to step up big in this one. Yesterday, leading scorer for them, currently at nine points right now. Four point game. Handoff, no go, no go there. Clausen with it. Grover on him. As Grover's been playing him close. Jim is rocking right now. Oh, Don Kellen Donnelly gets 
Breeze right by there. As Jeremy Jacobson gets it to go. Last shot high off the glass, no good. Six point lead for the Blackhawks. Cryback playing way out, gets, <laughs> goes right by him again, but decides to dish instead to the Blackhawks. When the Spartans are playing really far out on defense, it seems like they don't have the quick feet to really maintain right. that right now. Patient are the Blackhawks though. Taking what is given to them by the Spartans. Content with running some clock mm -hmm. as they have the six point lead. Dribble drive, left hand, no good. Offensive board goes. Wow. Big offensive rebound by Jacobson. As that will be a travel there by Donnelly. And you can sense the wheels starting to fall off a little bit for Somerset if they don't take a deep breath here right. and really think. As they will take a timeout as Coach Wink can sense it himself that his team is kind of getting in their own head a little bit. And at times throughout this season, the Spartans' worst enemy has not necessarily been their opponent, it has been themselves. Mm -hmm. Yep, eight point game here. Game of momentum. Absolutely a game of momentum. But also have to recognize the momentum can shift very quickly. Absolutely. And if you don't <laughs> stay in this one mentally, you can miss out on a big opportunity. Yesterday, I think something that I was most impressed with by Somerset is just the mental toughness to stay in that game for so yeah. long. Yeah, being down what, down four points with about a minute, a minute and 15 to yeah. go. So didn't fold then. I think that's probably the message that Coach Wink is giving his players right now is that we did not go through that game last night just to fold here against a team that we know we can beat as they have beat them as recently as January 23rd. All right, 10.48 to go in this one. 30-38, Baldwin with the lead. Boy, Evan Clausen has had a game, currently at 18 points still, his season high at 20. as he controls it here. Again, Baldwin will look to run some clock, still with just over 10 to go in this one. And they'll just wait to find the offensive opportunity that they want. Almost deflected out of bounds there, but Smith able to handle it. Smith with 10 points in this one so far, right at his season average. Drive back out, Smith with it. Back around, Borchart trying to find Clausen, but Grover is just staying on Clausen. Then that's a travel. Spartan defense turning into a Baldwin turnover. What will Somerset do with this opportunity? It'll be Caden Cryback with it. He's been quiet offensively here tonight as well as he's had zero looks from beyond the arc, which is kind of his bread and butter. Trying to find an opening. Went to Grover. Yeah, Cal Smith's been following Cryback around the court wherever he's at. Into Donnelly. Shot fake up and good. Big two points by Donnelly there. Donnelly up to 11. And the Spartans coming out in a 1-2-2 two, two press it looks like, or almost a trap there at half court. The Blackhawks beat it easily though. Blocked by Grover and it will be a foul call on Grover. His second foul. Yep. Still a one and one here, but for the rest of this game, Baldwin will get two shots every time they are fouled. Sarns are gonna need Dylan Livingston to uh, be at his best to distract 
Student section yeah. leader. And a Spartan super fan last night, yes. Dylan Livingston. So make it a seven point game here with 9.16 to go. The second one is good as well. That is Mahoney. As he is a 58% free throw shooter, so good on him, him for hitting those two. My goodness, Lesha on the ground. Some folks in the gym looking for a foul. Grover up and in, counted in the foul. Nice entry pass from Wink to Grover there as Grover gets some offensive production going here. His first two points in this one. The first foul on Jacobson there. Fourth foul for Baldwin. Both teams with three timeouts remaining in this one. Sidewinder free throw by Grover gets it to go. Curious what his free throw percentage is on the season. Uh, two for 11 going into that one. Oof, make it three for 12, 25%. Quick pass up and it, I don't think that the full court press is working all that well for Somerset. Crybeck. Boy, if Crybeck if Krybeck would have went up with the shot right, right away there, he would have drawn an easy foul from beyond the arc. Instead, it will be a non-shooting foul. Very impressive. Cal Smith is just on everyone tonight in a very impressive defensive showing. That's his first foul. First foul. And he hasn't really had anything remotely close to a foul, no. at least as far as we've seen. No, so. Very clean game so yep. far. At least clean for Baldwin. So Somerset with nine fouls, not so much. Right. But that first half, very clean. Cryback three, tried to find the bank, couldn't get it. The Spartans just seem to be struggling to gain any momentum against this seven point lead. As Clausen goes right past Grover, tough shot, can't get it to go. Looking for a foul was Clausen, pushing up to Donnelly, double team, dish back out. Lesha, big three, it's up, it's good! Lesho with a clutch three there, making it a four point deficit for Somerset. And Grover's in this one. Stop dribble, Grover's all over him. Coach Wink wanted a five second call on there. I don't think we quite had it, but good defense by Grover all the same. Seven and a half to go. The energy of this gym right now. It is Holy rockets. Holy. Love it. This is high school basketball right here, folks, in March. That will be a foul by Lesha, but no bucket. Be his it, third foul. And it will be Borchard going to the line. He's got to earn his two. And I got to think we're getting close to when Cayman Gebheim's coming back in. My thought was going to be about five minutes. Yep. It really depends on how these last couple of, or next couple of possessions go for Somerset and there we go. <laughs> Gabheim getting ready to check in after this free throw. First one's no good. He will give Aiden Grover a well-earned break. And Gabheim's got to be careful. Four fouls for the senior. At the time of that fourth foul he was leading all Spartan scorers with nine. He right. scored nine points in the first half. That one doesn't go, Lesha skies for the big rebound. Pushes up to Donnelly. Well, the first two meetings between these teams were close. I'm sure they wouldn't want to have it any other way for the third matchup. Gotta love this for a regional final. Yeah. Into Lesha, back out, wow. Lesha lost his balance, was able to maintain it. Wink for three, it's up. Oh, the bank was not open there for Wink. As he's gotta get back. Under seven to go in this one. Wink took that with a lot of confidence. Borchard in. Nice entry there as he flew all around the court. The Spartans will look to answer here. Donnelly with it. Trying to find Gebheim. He does. Gebheim. Oh, Wink loses the handle, but Lesh is able to save it. Oh, Wink loses it again. 
tough turn of events for Somerset there. As now, Baldwin could make this an eight point game. Six to go, that will be out of bounds and the Spartans get it right back. 6.02 to go in this one. Kellen Donnelly back in to give Jamison Wink a break. Kane Donnelly with it. Slices right through and he'll draw the foul. That'll be the first foul on Claussen there. Sixth team foul for Baldwin, so Somerset will also be in the bonus moving forward here. As yep. Donnelly will shoot two. Say another amazing stat there with how much you've been saying his name. Well, in just the sheer amount of minutes right. that Evan Claussen has played in this one, I don't think he's taking a break. No. So he's hunched over, arms on Yeah, he's taking he's on a nice, right now. nice breather here as we get the perspiration off the floor. Assistant coach Anderson on that one. Yeah, buffer the hardwood. As Donnelly with the knuckleball free throw gets it to go. He's up to 12 points leading all Spartan scorers in this one. Second one, back iron. Oh, oh my, my gosh. That is a grown man rebound right there. I came in Gebheim. <laughs> my goodness. I was terrified. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Just mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, he sat for a lot of this second half, so he wants to make his mark in this regional final game now. And he gets that one to go. <laughs> <laughs> the grown man rebound with the delicate touch yep. layoff. <laughs> Wills that one in. Three. Making a three-point point game, game. With five and a half to go. Both teams with three timeouts in this one. Donnelly trying to play good defense in the paint. Nothing going and Kane Donnelly gets it. Spartans could tie it up on this possession. Donnelly needs some help. He's able to get it and that should be a foul there. And that will send Gebheim to the line for a one and one. It'll be Cal Smith second. Gebheim on the season. 67%. Grover checking in for Lesha. So Lesha will get a break here. I'm assuming he'll get about a minute here, his last break of this game. Spartan trying to figure out who is guarding who. as Gabheim will shoot the one and one. First one, oh no good. Gabheim cannot convert there, it'll stay at a three point game with five to play. Grover on Claussen again. Just hear the volume in this gym. Love it, absolutely love it. Four and a half to go. Baldwin content with running some clock here. As we whittle this one down. Almost lose, oh, losing a dribble there. It'll be Claussen at the top of the key with Grover on him. I think Grover relishes the opportunity to be guarding Claussen. Right. Borchardt, back out, Wienendahl. Mahoney. And the Prescott Cardinals have indeed defeated the Osceola Chieftains as a shot there is missed. Ooh, tipped back to Somerset. 55-39 the final wow. score in that one. An impressive showing. The Cardinals always do show up to play in the postseason. So winner of this one will be traveling to Prescott next week. Well, 
It, they, it, it won't be in Prescott because right, it's here. It's yeah, technically here. That's technically right. host here. Traveling to if play. If Somerset wins this <laughs> one, uh, it would be placed at a different neutral site as you cannot host a sectional semifinal or final yourself, at least in basketball. Grover with it. Baldwin continuing to play the tough man-to-man -to -man defense that we've seen this entire game. No real switching going on as they're fighting through everything here. Wow, Gebheim lucky that he got that one back. Trying to find the angle, back out, Donnelly to Donnelly. Kane has it, looking to find a seam. spin o -rama up, oh, can't quite get it to go. Boy, that spin move from Donnelly is something we've seen a lot this season. It's Just impressive. couldn't quite get that one to fall. So Lesha got his break. Donnelly back out. And it will be oh, and it will also be Gebheim out as Wink back into the game here. And this is the lineup that it's interesting to see how Somerset will convert offensively with both Grover and Wink in the game. Three minutes to go, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in with us on the Spartan live stream. We've certainly enjoyed this one here tonight, another instant classic matchup between two middle border foes. A close one, as we expected. Baldwin currently with the lead. It's been close as we have a timeout. Baldwin will take their timeout, 30 second timeout, only two left for them in the game. As I think Somerset wanted a jump ball there, but I don't really think that there could be any claim. Right. I don't think the Spartans really had two mitts on the ball at any point during that. I wish that we, uh, we had kind of the, we have the bracket up here at least in our, our area. Yeah. Um, but we don't know who's on the other side of the regional. So it'd be interesting. We know obviously Prescott won, but I'm sure w producer Wallen is on it. So who is the potential final matchup for the winner of this one if they would say go on and beat Prescott? That would be Elk Mound or Berlin or GET or Arcadia. Boy, Elk Mound is just good at everything, aren't they? <laughs> it seems like <laughs> it. Oh, just an, an impressive but did fall to the Blackhawks this afternoon That's in girls right. basketball. Yep. That is absolutely right. Oh, close to a five seconds. But Baldwin able to inbound it there. Grover on Clausen, an assignment we've seen for most of the second half. As the Spartans themselves are playing close defense in the man-to-man -man here. Ooh, almost lost the dribble there to Wienendahl. Borchardt has it, Lesha got a hand on that one. Wienendahl has it, once again. Back in, and that will be a foul call on Wink. That'll be Wink's third foul. And of course, uh, Baldwin in the double bonus here. First one goes back up to four points. That's Cal Smith at the line. He has 13 in this one so far. As Wink and Grover will check out, Gebheim and Kellen Donnelly will check in. Spartans pretty much operating with seven players for a majority of this one. Handoff, Lesha. They get a five point game here with two to go. Spartans need a bucket here. Donnelly up and good. Gets the floater to go in the lane. And Coach Wink will take his timeout here. Spartans, both teams will have two timeouts to go with two minutes to play. A lot of basketball <laughs> left to be played in this one. <laughs> Three point game. What are our numbers looking like, Wallen? Um, well, we're three away from the all-time record. We're at 653 right oh now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that all-time record coming during, uh, uh, is that the Bruce Larson Bruce ceremony? Bruce Larson's celebration of life, yep. yep. Wow. 
Well, folks, we we appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed the broadcast. We're past that by ten now. Oh we're wow! So I mean, this is the this, pres- is, this, this is, the is the point where we tell folks, tell your friends <laughs> that we got a great basketball game going on here. Send the link out. Well, I'm assuming that the Prescott Cardinal fans are starting to tune that's, in after their game as well. That's here. a good point. That's so where welcome we saw, to the Spartan live stream. That's where we saw the influx of Baldwin fans yes. last night when the Spartans <laughs> were playing against Northwestern. But Prescott, congratulations on your uh, regional win. And uh, let's see who will uh, who you'll be facing next week. Dribble drive out of bounds. Heading back to Somerset. Three point game, 145 to go. And Gebheim and Donnelly will check back in. Spartans doing kind of the offense defense switch here at when they can. As Wink and Grover will take a seat. This is obviously the better offensive lineup for Somerset. Again, came in Gebheim, something to watch here with four fouls. He's had four fouls for a majority of the second half. Lasha trying to find an opening. Cryback for three, it's up. Oh, front iron, no good, offensive board. Spartans get a second chance. Oh, and Cryback able to draw the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. It'll be Claussen second. Interesting on that is Cal Smith was on Cayman Gebheim and not on Cryback, and yeah. Cryback was able to get that three up there. Mm-hmm. First one's good. <laughs> Off that back iron, but it's in. We'll do the offense defensive switch as Grover and Wink are back in this one. Second free throw, also good. Make it a one point oh game, Wallen. Gosh. One point game, 120 to go. One, two, two press here, trying to trap. Now the Spartans gotta get back. as honestly Baldwin looks comfortable in that trap. Yep. They have the length and the height. Will Baldwin be content to just run this all the way down? Play the free throw game? Yep. Force the issue potentially. Oh, they'll double here. Oh my gosh. They get it. (laughs) Heading back the other way. Donnelly, fake and good. Big bucket by Kane Donnelly on the turnover and the Spartans have the lead. Will Baldwin call a timeout? They will. 30 seconds to go and the Spartans have stormed back to take the lead with 30 seconds. My goodness. Oh my gosh. Another one Wallen. Another (laughs) fantastic game on our hands here. Ooh. My goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Speechless at times here over the last couple of days. Folks, I hope you can't blame well, me at home. It's, it's, it's I just, at a loss for words at times during these games. I did have to look down here. At, we have 730 <laughs> people watching, but only 12 <laughs> likes. Oh, man. <laughs> That's okay. We, get it. We, we are just a means to people seeing yeah, the game, so we're glad to be we, able to provide the service. We don't claim to be professionals. We are okay if you mute us. Yep. <laughs> we're just glad you tuned into some good basketball here. Oh, my it's, gosh. We're, what, a, what an opportunity to get to do this every season. Absolutely. Wallen. My goodness. I'm saying for Spartan fans, back-to-back crazy games, highs and yeah. lows. Wow. Donnelly able to force the turnover there with Wink helping out. Yep. And Donnelly with the slick pass fake to Lesha and up and in. So what can Baldwin put together here? They will have possession of the ball. Under 30 seconds to play here. And everyone's getting on their feet here. As this is what high school basketball is all about. I don't think I've ever heard this gym so loud. Let's see what happens here. Baldwin will look to run some clock here. Looking to find an opening. Clawson would be the guy that I would go to. Entry pass into the paint. Oh, Oh, big block right back to Baldwin though. Make it 10 seconds to go and we got a timeout. This will be Baldwin's last timeout in regulation. Nine seconds in this one. That's a full timeout. As the Spartans came to play with some defense there. No real opportunity. Monster block by Donnelly there. 
As he's, <laughs> he's got it going on offensively and defensively. Man. <laughs> and the cheer squad's back out there. Cheer squad doing double duty. They <laughs> went through their entire arsenal yes. of uh, tricks and cheers last night. Back again tonight. This is a personal favorite though. This one gets the student section into it the For most. For sure. It's good to see such a great student section for both teams. All these young, young adults had to pay to get in here tonight. Yes, yes. No free admission for students, but they are here in force on both sides. Absolutely. I th honestly, I, it's hard for me to say this as a Spartan, as a Somerset Spartan myself, but I think there are more Baldwin students yeah. here than Spartan students. At least their well, student section a, is bigger. They've so. had a big, a big they've day. Had a big day. <laughs> Nine seconds remaining, one point game here. Regional final on the line. Doesn't get better than this. Nope. Entry pass in. Clawson with it. It'll be Grover on him. He'll take the three, it's up. It's no good. Open ball. The Spartans have won the regional title. My goodness. They do it again. Wow. The Spartans will bring home the hardware Woo! against their division rival, the Baldwin Woodville Blackhawks, in a thrilling regional final game. The and there goes the student section joining their team on the court. Wow. <laughs> what a game. What just a crazy two weeks yeah. for a Somerset <laughs> fan. We had a girls regional final win last week. Back to back crazy games here. Two for one point games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two games that came down to the final minutes. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's just great night. Absolutely incredible. Kane Donnelly, the player of the game, 16 points for the junior. And with that clutch bucket there at the end, the turnover helped by Jamison Wink, the pass fake to open up the lane. Wow. And like you mentioned, the Spartans were kind of getting in their own head, kind of in the middle of that second half. That timeout was essential. Yep. After that timeout, the Spartans went locked in on a 17 to eight run. Wow. As they put themselves back into the game. After that, it was 30, 38. And no one fouled out? Nope. Played clean? The Spartans finished this game about as well as you could. And they earned this victory here tonight in front of their home crowd. Didn't think we were gonna get this home game, Wallen, as we thought right. this game was gonna be played in Bloomer. And boy, the Spartan faithful showed out. They showed up, they showed their support. Our last live stream of the season. It is, couldn't ask, that? Couldn't ask no, for yeah. a better one here. Yep, that location will be yet to be determined. I'm sure that they'll try to come out with that tomorrow so they can start selling tickets as soon as possible. Again, that game will be played on Thursday at a neutral site as the Spartans will be reunited with their familiar foe, the Prescott Cardinals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it always seems to be them, huh? The old boogeyman is lurking out there for Somerset. <laughs> can they finally take care of them? Folks will have to wait until Thursday to find out. But boy, Wallen, any uh, any final words after this game? I don't think so, pal. I think the, the scene on the court right now tells the story. I think you're absolutely right. We're gonna give one more shout out to uh, Izzy Osborne for being a fantastic camera operator this entire season. Also wanna give shout outs to Jess Wink, Josh Wells, Keaton Anderson, Elizabeth Granick, all, uh, Jenna Pepper. Shannon Donnelly Alarise, for stepping in on a Shannon game. Shannon Donnelly. Uh, just all the people who have helped throughout this entire season for the Spartan live stream. 
But uh, for Cody Wallen, my name is Will Ross Miller. Folks, thank you so much for tuning into the Spartan live stream, not just tonight, but throughout the season. We'll talk to you next year. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.